in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Today you're gonna have to put away your quarter water and your 50 cent bag of potato chips because guess what? Today is not gonna be a cheapie. Although, within this niche house, this is actually one of the cheaper ones because it has, you know, kind of polarizing reviews. Some people really fuck with it and other people are just like, blah, this house has so much better shit. So, uh, the plug hits me up and has a stash of shit and this just happens to be in the stash and you know Cuba blind buys in bundles. So, we gonna talk about this motherfucker and I wanna get your perception because it was quite interesting. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to the beat to the A. Yo, what is good, peoples? It's been a minute. How long has it been? Two days? Maybe more. I've just been dropping consistency as we go because, you know, we getting litty two titties out here. So we're trying to keep up with the Joneses. And if you guys notice anything back in the screen, my boo thing is back. Yes, as you can see, my beautiful Miami Cuban. Shout out to Daniel Jewelry Inc. is in Hialeah, Florida. They didn't only kill it, they murdered it. If you guys are interested in purchasing a real Miami Cuban done right, smash that thumbs up button or leave a comment below because on my Cubano Loco channel, I'm going to start the Cubano guide on how to properly purchase a real Miami Cuban link chain without getting got like I initially got. There's a lot of snakes in this jewelry business and I got caught and bit by one. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in checking that shit out because I'm going to be doing all it and Daniel Jewel is definitely blessed the kids so shout outs to them. Now since we're talking about luxurious perfection, from the house of Macy's Francis Kirk John, Emeris Ohm. Now, if you took a really, really solid designer fragrance and bumped up the ingredients like MFK does, this is what Amaris is. What I get from this sum of my bitch is a really nice high-end designer, not niche, high-end designer fragrance with a really nice creamy coconut, subtle hints of iris. I'm not the biggest fan of iris, but if it's in there and it's subtle, it's not so dominating, I'll fuck with it because you still got that little powdery essence, but it's not overpowering the entire thing. With this, I get coconut, citrus, oud, kind of like a light cacao bean or coffee vibe. Really fucking pleasant to say the least. I understand. This is Nisha's version of super mass appealing. This is like a very good high-end fragrance. Again, on the secondhand market, if you shop it around all these discount websites, you can find this one cheaper than let's say a Baccarat Rouge 540 or a Petite Matin or something along those lines. This one I definitely like more than Petite Matin. I think this is definitely mass appealing. When you want to step up in the niche realm but still have that mass appealing quality of a designer fragrance, this should be fucking talked about because this shit is popping. The longevity was dope. The silage was pretty good. And my shorty likes it. This motherfucker is definitely popping all situations, wearable in the summer. I think it's very appropriate for the winter also with the oud and the iris, making it a little bulky and a little denser. I think this could rock out all season long. This shit is pretty fucking dope. High quality ingredients, as you should expect from the price tag of MFK, with a designer blended niche vibe. Bitch, what more do you want? Citrus, coconut, florals, little iris. Why isn't this talked about more? Because it smells designerish? Buy a second hand, buy a partial, get a sample, smell this, and then you give me your perception on it. What else smells like this? I'm sure there's a designer that's comparable to this that other people are like, yo, you can save a buck in doing it, then listen, by all means do it. I happen to get this, I happen to enjoy it, and this is actually my scent of the day today. Emeris, for me, is definitely a ball sprayer. Excuse me, because I'm wearing no pants. Ooh, spicy! Freshly shaved gold nads with expensive fragrance. Ooh, 
it's got a little bit of a tingle. Like my balls just chewed on a winter fresh. I see y'all motherfuckers next time. You know who it is. It's your boy, Smooches. <laughs> For the fly gun holder, money folder, holder roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.